Welcome to the online training, Water Treatment System Maintenance. It is provided to you by the National Groundwater Association with support from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. This training takes about 15 minutes. The time you invest in it could protect your drinking water quality and your health. There are more than 13 million U.S. households on private water wells. Household well owners are responsible for the water testing and water treatment if necessary. For well owners who install water treatment, some maintenance of the treatment system or systems will be necessary. Step 1. Understand what you have. Do you have a whole house treatment system, a filter, one treatment technology, or a treatment train involving several different systems? The answers to these questions will dictate the maintenance regimen you'll need to follow. Step 2. Determine your ability to perform needed maintenance. Consult with a qualified water treatment service provider about your capability to maintain your treatment systems. If capable, get necessary guidance on maintenance intervals and procedures. If not capable, consider a service contract to maintain your water treatment system. Neglecting water treatment system maintenance could lead to the system's failure, costing more money in the long run and possibly putting your health at risk. Let's look at common types of home water treatment and their maintenance. First, we'll look at continuous disinfection with ultraviolet light. This system has a wavelength that kills bacteria. It treats water at the point of entry into the house, which is called POE, and proper pretreatment of the water is important. The clearer the water, the more effective the UV light. Good maintenance requires the quartz sleeve in which the lamp is enclosed to be kept clean, and good maintenance requires annual replacement of the lamp. When performing maintenance on a UV light system, always unplug the treatment system and turn off the water. Wear gloves to handle the components. Never look at the lamp when it's on and follow the manufacturer's directions for maintenance. Next, let's talk about ion exchange. This is commonly referred to as water softening. The water softener is probably the most common water treatment technology. Under normal conditions, water softeners can run for years with minimal maintenance. This typically involves a physical chemical process in which water passes through a specialized resin inducing an exchange of ions to achieve removal. Ion exchange treatment systems usually treat all the water coming into the house. Water softeners need salt to work, so the salt tank must be replenished from time to time. Depending on the incoming water quality, grit or other particulate can cause clogging or other service issues. Maintenance requirements can depend on what the homeowner is removing from the water. An example would be the removal of nitrate which in certain concentrations can present a health risk to infants by impeding the ability of their blood to carry oxygen. For the removal of nitrate, an anion resin is used instead of a cation resin used in traditional water softening. Also, an ion exchange unit using an anion resin to treat nitrate is only effective if chloride is used to regenerate the resin while a unit for water softening uses sodium to regenerate the resin. Next, reverse osmosis or RO. This is a process for the removal of dissolved ions from water in which water is forced through a semi-permeable membrane 
retaining most ions while transmitting the water. This is a common technology used at the point of water use, or POU, in which a separate tap is used for the purified water. These units are commonly installed under the kitchen sink. When coupled with granular activated carbon filters before and after the RO treatment, this system can achieve a high degree of removal of many of the substances that cause water quality problems. The RO membrane can last for years before it needs to be replaced. If coupled with granular activated carbon filters, these filters may need replacement more often. As with any system, discuss a maintenance schedule with the installer or the manufacturer. Question. Periodically replacing the lamp is the only maintenance required in a UV light system for killing bacteria. True or false? The answer is false. The quartz sleeve in which the lamp is enclosed must be kept clean. In addition to that, the lamp should be replaced annually. Question. Ion exchange systems or water softeners require only salt replenishment, making them among the easiest systems to maintain. True or false? The answer is false. While these systems are easy to maintain, in addition to salt replenishment, the resin used in the system tank needs to be replaced periodically. Furthermore, the type of resin used, which occasionally needs to be replaced, can vary depending on what is being treated in the water. It is always important to know the recommended maintenance requirements for any system and whether that maintenance varies depending on what the system is treating. Question. In reverse osmosis systems, the semi-permeable membrane can last for years, but any carbon filters may need changed more often. True or false? The answer is true. Sometimes an RO membrane can last for up to 10 years. Many RO systems also use granular activated carbon filters to treat water going into the membrane and out of the membrane to improve water quality. These carbon filters may need to be replaced more often. Know the recommended maintenance requirements for any system based on what that system is treating. Next, there's the whole house sediment filter. Such filters can enhance the effectiveness and reduce the maintenance of other treatment systems that come after it in the treatment chain. Follow the manufacturer's directions for filter changes. Next, the adaptable automatic backwashing filter. This type of filter backwashes its media bed automatically. It requires little maintenance. These filters can be fitted with all sorts of media for sediment removal, taste and odor removal, iron and manganese removal, volatile organic compounds removal, and arsenic removal. Maintenance is low, but if treatment is for VOCs or arsenic, which are health threats at the parts per billion level, periodic laboratory testing is recommended. These units have limits as to how much contaminant they can hold before the media bed must be replaced. In most cases involving arsenic, VOCs, and certain other contaminants, proper disposal of the media bed must be done by an outside contractor. Consult a qualified water treatment service provider or the manufacturer regarding any periodic water testing recommendations. Now let's talk about acid neutralizing systems to reduce lead. In many parts of the United States, well water may have a pH in the acid range, approximately 5.0 to 7.0. This is enough 
to slowly dissolve metal in plumbing pipes and fixtures. If your home was built before 1987 and uses copper plumbing, it is possible the solder has high lead content. Lead is dangerous to human health. To make water non-corrosive, two types of systems can be installed to raise the pH. First, injecting sodium carbonate into the water with a feed pump system. You will need to mix solution for the pump two to three times a year. Second, calcite media in an adaptable automatic backwashing filter. This system requires additional calcite be added annually with a total replacement of the calcite every two to three years. Question. A whole house sediment filter can improve the effectiveness and reduce maintenance of other water treatment systems in the house. True or false? The answer is true. By using a filter to remove particulate as water enters the house, it prevents clogging of treatment systems that follow it, and clearer water can help other systems work more efficiently and effectively. Question. Adaptable automatic backwashing filters are unique because they treat many things but require only backwashing for maintenance. True or false? The answer is false. The media inside the filter needs to be replaced periodically. Furthermore, when these filters are used for certain types of contaminants, such as arsenic or volatile organic compounds, a professional may be required to properly dispose of the used media, which is considered hazardous. Question. Two different systems for treating corrosive water, sodium carbonate injection and an automatic backwash filter using calcite, are completely different, but both effective if maintained. True or false? The answer is true. The injection system requires the homeowner to mix the sodium carbonate solution two to three times a year. The adaptable automatic backwash filter requires calcite to be added annually with a total calcite replacement every two to three years. When properly maintained, both systems can be effective in bringing corrosive water in the normal range, which protects against the possibility of lead leaching from old pipes solder, and plumbing fittings and fixtures. If considering one of these acid neutralizing systems, discuss operation and maintenance costs and requirements with the water treatment system provider or manufacturer. For questions on water treatment system maintenance, always follow the manufacturer's recommendations. Consider consulting with a qualified water treatment service provider for guidance and consider contacting the Water Quality Association at www.wqa.org, which provides listings of water treatment service providers. Visit www.wellowner.org to find out more about useful well owner tools, including a private well owner hotline, the private well owner tip sheet, more online well owner lessons, and free well owner webinars. Don't forget to check wellowner.org for other online lessons if you have questions like, what should I test my water for? How should I maintain my well? How can I keep my water safe? What should I do if my well floods? How do I get water treatment? And what should I know about getting a new well?